而定。This is actually quite difficult.
looks like? Um, oh, maybe not. Well, I guess I'm just confused how I get to the point where there's no mirrors sometimes. Well, what equation do you have right now? What's the equation that you've got to? Okay. Well, that actually is a really good progress. I was saying that this is very difficult, but you've, uh, you've seen the main trick here. So we're not focusing on the x component anymore. We have a new net force y and net torque equation. By the way, so you're using clockwise as your positive direction? Yeah, so in this course, you can choose either clockwise or counterclockwise as positive. It's good that you wrote that down. We should also write down, it looks like you've chosen these as your positive directions. All right, so here's the net torque from the weight. It's the same as before. Now, we can't assume that we're not moving anymore. In fact, the object will be moving, so we're not going to put in zeros for the accelerations. They told us what the moment of inertia is, so you plugged in for that. Um, and then you did something that was really useful, which is that you used this equation to get rid of a variable. So that's what most people wouldn't think of doing. So that was really good that you thought uh, to do that. Is that something you'd already seen in the answer key? Or? Yeah, I've been looking for these problems, and I couldn't get any further, and I couldn't think of what it right. was that they were doing. And then and I didn't. I looked at the answer key and hadn't made the connection, and that's what was going on. And then I yeah. think it's when I went on to work on some rotational problems that right. I realized that. Well, it's yeah. good that you remember this equation. That's right. So. This is the link between our translational concept and our rotational concept. So it's really good that you thought of using this to substitute out for one of the variables. That's what people tend to forget. And then you did something that was even better. You remembered that this equation only tells you the magnitudes, and that it's your job to get the right sign. That's something that very few students would think about. So you, you made very good use of this. That's why I write dots when I wrote this version of the equation. However, let's see. The acceleration, well, we're going to be accelerating clockwise which you chose as your positive direction. But vertically, we're going to be moving down, which is negative. So they really will have opposite signs. So this was exactly right to put in that negative sign. Then you decided to solve for alpha. Uh, and that allows you to replace alpha with a sub y and reduce the number of variables. That's good. I think you just made a algebra mistake. Maybe I made an algebra mistake. So at this point, It looks like you multiplied this side of the equation by 3 halves. Is that what you have written down? You multiply. Now, why did you multiply by 3 halves? Um, to try to isolate the point where the ay. Right. Now, if you're going to multiply the left by 3 halves, you must be multiplying the right by 3 halves. And then what happens to the 2 thirds? It gets destroyed. Mm -hmm. Right? Which, and I think you still had, you uh, made an algebra mistake and you left a number over here. Maybe I wasn't seeing what you did right, so. but uh, so it seems like you still have a three on the right hand side, or maybe you just didn't cross it out. I, right. I got down to this point here. Okay, maybe that wasn't the problem then. So the three halves are going to cancel, and over here we get three L for four G equals negative A L sub Y. Is this what you ended up with? Ah, okay, yeah. So then I guess I was just, um, I was getting stuck because I was surprised that I wouldn't have a variable in my final answer. For okay, and I, actually that's better, right? It's yeah, better to have just I, numbers. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for because right. I put it back in to find mm -hmm. f h of y. Right. I know everything. Okay. Yeah, it is true yeah. sometimes that you, you can't, Sometimes you can't eliminate all the variables, but if you can, that's even better. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Great. Okay. Um, so a of y is equal to negative 3 fourths g. Canceling out the l's from both sides. Mm -hmm. 